What's going on guys? So today we're talking about pens for all the people who like your uh, higher end pens or EDC pens. This one is from Tactical Turn. If you remember, Tactical Turn is a company that made that retractable knife. Okay, so like a pen, had a little knife blade that popped out the top. Very, very interesting uh, Kickstarter uh, item. Um, but when I got that, I also got two of their pens. I got a copper one, which is a clicky style pen, which I have not used yet. But I also got this one, okay, which is the bolt action pen, and I've been using this ever since. So it's a few months now, and I finally wanted to talk about it a little bit. I really like this pen a lot. This one's in titanium. It has a very fine texture. You would never be able to tell. Let me zoom in. All right, just by looking at it. All right, there we go. So you can see that it almost looks like screw threading. It's extremely, extremely fine. All right, it's just the machine, when these are being uh, made, you see it runs the entire length of the body here, all right? Very fine serrations. So fine that I have to use <laughs> the jeweler's loop to show you this, all right? So yeah, um, but it gives a, uh, an interesting texture. Like I said, when you're, when you're rubbing it along the side, it feels almost like glass, like super crazy smooth. But if you go in you know, this direction here, horizontally, how we're looking at it, um, you feel that texture. So it actually does grip. All right, when you're writing. Uh, my only complaint with this pen is that it's a little bit uh, top heavy just because all the weight is up here in the bolt and the pocket clip and stuff. So when I'm writing, I do find that the top wants to wobble around a little bit. Uh, as far as the, uh, the inserts go on this, they're using Pilot uh, G2 inserts, which are very smooth. They write very nicely, also very accessible. All right, so if you wanted to, you know, get your more inserts, you don't have to get it right from the website or anything. All right, you can get it from uh, you know Staples or whatever office supply store you prefer. Grab some paper here to show you that it does write really nice. All right, that insert doesn't smear very easily or anything. That's my signature. So how this pen works is on this bolt system here. Okay, so this just rides on a track and then just stays in that position, which is open. All right, because there's spring tension here built up, uh, when you push down, it just retracts all the way. All right, so again, just a little little slide system. So really, really simple concept. However, they just came out with a brand new one, which is even smoother and shorter, which I like, because when I had this, like I said, it's not like it's hard to do or anything, but sometimes because of the length of how long this has to go, when I'm pushing down, because it's turning, right, sometimes my finger will slip off of it, okay, because this doesn't have any texturing on or anything. Uh, they do offer a Damascus one that looks beautiful, but it's the same in that it's just smooth. Um, you know, so it's a little bit easy to have that happen where it just pops out before you get all the way down. So this is the new version of it. You can see it's a little bit different than it has a flat top instead of a round top. All right, but the most important change here, of course, is it's a much shorter throw as opposed to this one coming all the way down. This one is very short and it's way smoother. I'm not sure what actually happened. I don't know if they just polish the insides or what, but it's a lot easier to use, okay? As you're pushing down, I mean, it's just, it's already there. It's, it wants to slide over. This one just tended to be a little bit on the gritty side. All right, this one just feels way smoother, like the inside's polished or something. A lot easier, all right? Other than that, if you look towards the bottom here, you can see it also has a less gradual, um, you know, tapering towards the end. Whereas this is longer and skinnier, this is kind of fatter until the very end. All right, so just a quick note on the design change between the two. Also a quick note, this unscrews here, okay? So this entire part, you'll see how long that is as opposed to the newer version. It has a much smaller uh, tip that comes off in order to get to your insert. So I literally just got the new one about a week or so ago. It's everything the old one is as far as how it feels. It's still uh, a little top heavy. Um, but it's not like ridiculous or anything. I do like the much shorter track there. It's a lot smoother, a lot easier to use, right? It has the exact same insert and everything, so, you know, writes the same. Uh, but just really interesting. So I just want to talk about these briefly if you guys are looking for higher-end pens. These sell for 100 bucks. They're $99. Um, I think it's an extra $20 if you want the Damascus uh, knob, I guess we'll call that. Um, but they also make different uh, different materials too. There's like a copper one. I think there's bronze, something like that. Uh, just pretty interesting. You know, the custom pen market is actually huge. Uh, a lot of people are watching the video going, oh man, I would never spend $100 on a pen. Yeah, you'd also never spend $10,000 on a watch or $100,000 on a car. 
but there's lots of people who do it, millions. I use pens a little bit more than the average person. Uh, I do all my bills and stuff longhand. I write everything out just so I know exactly what's going on all the time. I'm constantly writing notes to myself. Uh, even if I'm going shopping or something for the day, I write down a list, like a, a checklist of things that I'm looking to get so I don't forget. Anyway, just making the video for the people out there, you know, interested in pens. Uh, the old one, I said, it really wasn't that much of a problem. Maybe one out of five times I go to, you know, open it, it would slip out of my finger, you know, because I have to rotate again. That's the whole thing is, is doing this kind of U-turn. If it was straight down, it wouldn't have been a big deal. But because this is smooth, you know, you have to kind of rotate back and then over. Whereas this one is certainly an improvement. It's such a short throw that by the time you push down, you don't have to do any you know, lateral movements there. All right. But pretty interesting. Like I said, definitely not for everyone. Not everyone's into $100 pens. Uh, but considering what I've seen out there, $100 for a titanium custom pen is not so shabby. Uh, it's actually a pretty good deal. And there's a lot of people out there, you know, that like adding them to their EDCs. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.